You are now listening to Sorel Gorgor MD. Sorel Gorgor MD, let's go through the images and tips. The following are images from a tips placement. I'm just going to let these, uh, these frames run. All right. So this is what's called a CO2 portogram. I'm just going to freeze it right here. Uh, what this is is a 10 French sheath. Through that sheath there is a Fogarty balloon catheter. So this is an occlusion balloon. It's inflated. And the tip of the catheter you can inject. In this case we're injecting CO2. Uh, this is different from iodinated contrast. It's a gas. It's very viscous. And we're actually retrograde opacifying uh, the portal vein. So what you can see here, you can actually see a little bit of middle hepatic vein here. And then it's actually going down backwards through the liver. It's going through the sinusoids and then retrograde opacifying the inflow of the portal vein. So here we can see a portal vein here. We can see the right portal vein, left portal vein, the confluence of the two, the main portal vein. So I'll let this play out a little bit and you can sort of see how we're opacifying the portal vein. You can see this uh, tortuous vein here, which extends uh, caudally, and that is the recantilized umbilical vein, an abnormal vein, a varix. Again, this patient has portal hypertension, and that flow integrate into the liver through the portal vein is being obstructed by a diseased, cirrhotic, hardened, stiff liver, and that flow is then being redirected down these uh, abnormal tortuous veins. All right, here we go. This is another uh, set of images from the TIPS placement. I'm just going to let this run for a second. It's an injection, and what you can see is that from the injection, we're injecting into an actual vascular space. Okay, this is the actual portal access. What you see here is, a, again, a 10 French sheath. This is a 7 French uh, stiffened cannula with a curve. That's what's giving this curve here. And then through that, there is a, uh, I think it's a 4 French Teflon catheter. And the part that's removed is the actual needle, the Rosh access needle. So that has been removed once we've punctured into the portal vein, in this case, in the left portal vein. And injecting through that Teflon catheter, we're seeing opacification of a vascular space. This is confirming our portal entry. All right, so here we go. This is what's called a direct portogram. Here, I'm just going to freeze it again. So here again, we have that 10 French sheath. This is a wire. This is actually a stiff, uh, this is a Lunderquist wire, uh, stiffest wire out there. Tip of the wire is coiled up in the splenic vein. So our sheath is down here, and we're actually injecting contrast, in this case, through the sheath and we're getting a direct uh, portogram, a direct study of the portal vein. And again, we're seeing a lot of the things we saw on the CO2 portogram. You can notice here the, uh, the intrahepatic portal veins have a truncated appearance because they've narrowed from that chronic portal hypertension from the cirrhosis. All right, since they don't have a way to flow into the liver, these veins have kind of narrowed down and that flow is being diverted, diverted into this varix here again, that recanalized umbilical vein. You can actually, if you look here, you'll see some uh, gastric and esophageal varices opacify. Here's some gastric varices, and they track up to the esophagus. So those are the varices that are responsible for variceal bleeds. Uh, these are exactly the things we're trying to treat with the tips. So I'll let this play out a little bit more. This is a normal vein. This is a superior mesenteric vein. And uh, it's a little enlarged, uh, congested from the portal hypertension. Okay, here we go. This is what I would call the money shot. This is the uh, set of images you always want to see in a tip, so I'm just going to freeze it here. Uh, what you can see here is uh, this is our sheath. This is a catheter. Uh, it's a marking pigtail. Some people call it a marking pig. This is the coil of the catheter, and there are multiple side holes there which we are injecting. So again, this is a direct portogram. Uh, what, what has changed is that we've actually placed a stent here. So you can see the tips viator stent here. So here is the stent. This is the demarcation between the uncovered portion and the covered portion, and now we've created a fistula or a shunt between the portal vein and the uh, systemic circulation, basically into the right, into the middle hepatic vein or into the right atrium. And what are we noticing now? Um, if I just let this play out a little bit more, what we're seeing is we're seeing the splenic vein here, we're seeing the portal vein, we're not seeing flow into the liver through the portal vein, we're seeing very rapid transit of contrast through this shunt and directly into the right atrium. Other things we're not seeing, we're not seeing that uh, big dilated tortuous um, umbilical vein. We're not seeing those uh, esophageal and gastric varices. All right, there's the protection of the tips. We've decompressed that blood through the shunt into the right atrium. So those varices are not filling, so therefore bleeding cannot occur. Um, other things we're not seeing as much or other things we can notice that uh, superior mesenteric vein, 
uh, is not opacifying as much. Flow is anti-grade through here. Uh, we're going to decrease congestion of that vein, and that's going to lead to decreased ascites. So those are the two main benefits of the tips. Uh, you know, Non-opacification of varices, so protection from variceal bleeding, decreased incidence of ascites, uh, things that can worsen after tips since there's more blood flow going to the right atrium. You can get uh, uh, heart failure. If you have heart failure, you can get worsened heart function from the increased inflow. Also, since this blood is not passing through the liver, uh, patients can experience worsened uh, hepatic encephalopathy. All right, so those are the images and the tips. Hope this was helpful. I'm Sarogar MD. Thank you for watching. Take care.